let's look at a brief overview of the Sun and planets in our solar system. The Sun, a star located at the center of the solar system, is a nearly perfect spherical ball of hot plasma. It is primarily composed of hydrogen, about 74%, and helium, about 24%, with trace amounts of other elements such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. The Sun's core is where nuclear fusion takes place, converting hydrogen into helium, which releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and heat, making the sun shine. The sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius, 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has been burning for about 4.6 billion years. It has another 5 billion years of fuel left before it dies out, and will then expand into a red giant, before eventually collapsing into a white dwarf. The sun emits a wide range of electromagnetic radiation, including visible light, ultraviolet radiation, and infrared radiation. It has a significant impact on Earth, including providing light and heat for photosynthesis and driving weather patterns. The Sun is classified as a G-type main-sequence star, or G-dwarf star, which is based on its temperature, luminosity, and composition. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest planet to the Sun. It is only slightly larger than Earth's moon and is the only inner planet without a significant atmosphere. Mercury's surface is heavily cratered and heavily divided by cliffs and escarpments. The surface temperature on Mercury can reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing the Sun and can drop to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing away from the Sun. It has no moons or rings, and its magnetic field is much weaker than that of Earth. Mercury's orbit around the Sun is also highly eccentric, meaning that its distance from the Sun varies greatly over the course of its orbit. The planet completes one orbit around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. Due to its proximity to the Sun, it is difficult to observe from Earth and it was not known to ancient cultures. It was only in the 20th century that scientists were able to study it in detail. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as Earth's sister planet because it is similar in size and composition. Venus has a thick atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide and nitrogen that creates a greenhouse effect, resulting in a surface temperature hot enough to melt lead, averaging around 864 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface of Venus is a barren wasteland with volcanoes, mountains, and vast plains. Venus has no moons or rings and its rotation is slow and in the opposite direction of most planets. It takes Venus about 243 Earth days to rotate on its own axis, but only 224.7 Earth days to orbit the Sun. Venus is the brightest object in the sky after the Sun and the Moon, and it has been known since ancient times as the morning and evening star. Due to its thick atmosphere, it is difficult to observe the surface of Venus from Earth, but several missions have been sent to study the planet in more detail. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and is the only known planet to have life. It has a diverse range of environments, including oceans, mountains, deserts, and forests. It has a relatively thin atmosphere composed mostly of nitrogen and oxygen, and it has a magnetic field that helps protect the planet from harmful solar radiation. Earth's surface is roughly 70% covered by water and its climate is regulated by the atmosphere and the oceans. The planet has one natural satellite, the Moon, which is about one quarter the size of the Earth. The planet takes 365.25 days to orbit the Sun and 24 hours to rotate on its own axis. The tilt of Earth's axis is responsible for the seasons. It is considered a terrestrial planet as it has solid surface and also known as the blue planet, due to its abundant water. It has a unique balance of atmosphere, water, and climate that has allowed for the evolution and diversity of life. Earth's moon, simply known as the moon, is the fifth largest natural satellite in the solar system. It is about one quarter the size of Earth and is the largest natural satellite relative to its host planet. The Moon is about 384,400 kilometers away from Earth and it takes about 27.3 days to orbit the Earth. The surface of the Moon is rocky and covered in a layer of fine dust called regolith. It has a heavily cratered surface with mountains and vast plains. The Moon has no atmosphere or magnetic field. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the red planet, due to its reddish appearance. It is a terrestrial planet that is similar in size and composition to Earth. Mars has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide and has a diverse range of terrains, including mountains, valleys, and vast plains. Mars has the largest volcano and the longest canyon in the solar system. It also has polar ice caps made of water and carbon dioxide. 
The planet has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos. Mars has a thin atmosphere and a weak magnetic field which makes it less able to retain its atmosphere and water, causing them to gradually escape into space. The planet takes 687 Earth days to orbit the Sun and 24.6 hours to rotate on its own axis. Mars has been explored by several missions, both robotic and manned, and it is considered a prime candidate for future colonization. The study of Mars has provided important information about the early history of the solar system, and also the possibility of extraterrestrial life on the planet. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and is the largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has a thick atmosphere with colorful bands of clouds and powerful storms, the most famous being the Great Red Spot, a gigantic storm larger than the size of Earth. Jupiter has 79 known moons, the four largest being Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, known as the Galilean moons. Jupiter also has a faint ring system and a weak magnetic field. The planet takes about 11.9 Earth years to orbit the Sun and about 9 hours and 56 minutes to rotate on its own axis. Jupiter's gravity plays a significant role in the solar system, it keeps comets and asteroids in check and also keeps the inner planets from being knocked out of their orbits by the outer planets. Jupiter has been studied by several missions, both robotic and flyby, and it's still ongoing. The study of Jupiter has provided important information about the early history of the solar system, the formation of gas giants, and the potential for other gas giant planets in other solar systems. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is the second largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, similar to Jupiter. Saturn is known for its extensive ring system, which is composed of billions of particles of ice and rock. The rings are divided into several distinct parts, and they are thought to be the result of the breakup of larger moons. Saturn has 82 known moons, the largest being Titan, which is larger than the planet Mercury. Saturn also has a strong magnetic field and a thick atmosphere with bands of clouds and storms. The planet takes about 29.5 Earth years to orbit the Sun and about 10 hours and 39 minutes to rotate on its own axis. Saturn's gravity plays a significant role in the solar system, it keeps comets and asteroids in check and also keeps the inner planets from being knocked out of their orbits by the outer planets. Saturn has been studied by several missions, both robotic and flyby, and its study has provided important information about the early history of the solar system, the formation of gas giants and the potential for other gas giant planets in other solar systems. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is the third largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, similar to Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus has a very faint ring system and 27 known moons, the largest being Titania and Oberon. Uranus also has a strong magnetic field and a thick atmosphere with bands of clouds and storms. The most striking feature of Uranus is that it is tilted on its side, with its axis of rotation tilted at an angle of about 98 degrees relative to the plane of its orbit. It is believed that this unusual tilt was caused by a massive collision with another body early in the planet's history. Uranus takes about 84 Earth years to orbit the Sun and about 17 hours and 14 minutes to rotate on its own axis. Uranus has been studied by several missions, such as Voyager 2 in the ongoing studies, and it has provided important information about the early history of the solar system, the formation of gas giants and the potential for other gas giant planets in other solar systems. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun and is the fourth largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, similar to Jupiter and Saturn. Neptune has a system of faint rings and 14 known moons, the largest being Triton. Neptune also has a strong magnetic field and a thick atmosphere with bands of clouds and storms. The atmosphere of Neptune is quite dynamic, with high-speed winds and large storms. The most famous of these is the Great Dark Spot, a storm system similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Like Uranus, Neptune also has a tilt on its axis of rotation, with an angle of about 29 degrees. It takes about 164.8 Earth years to orbit the Sun and about 16 hours and 6.7 minutes to rotate on its own axis. Neptune has been studied by several missions, such as Voyager 2 in the ongoing studies, and it has provided important information about the early history of the solar system, the formation of gas giants and the potential for other gas giant planets in other solar systems.